بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students Hello Welcome Welcome again This is a video a short one about inequalities more exactly about Chibichar inequality The uh, statement says let a1, a2, an, and b1, b2 till bn be real numbers. We have two cases. If we take a1 greater than or equal a2 greater than or equal till greater than or equal an, and at the same time b1 greater than or equal to b2 greater than or equal until bn, or we have another uh, case a1 less than or equal a2 less than or equal a n and b1 less than or equal b2 less than or equal until b n so here here we have a set of real numbers which are ordered in a sense uh, not decreasing or not increasing both a n and b n the question the question says prove that if we times a1 plus plus b a n times b1 plus plus b n this is less than or equal to n the uh, times a1 b1 plus 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 a n b b n the diagonal here and n times as far as I know, there is two, at least two uh, different methods. The first one, uh, by induction, it's a little bit long, but in an easy uh, way. And the second one, it, uh, it has a tricking, a cute tricking. So I am uh, going to, I am going to solve by the second one, the second one, yeah. So let us consider, so let us consider, consider the product AE minus AG times BE minus BG a e b e uh, a e uh, e n g for e n g belongs to the set of index and since they are in the same order we have two cases two possible cases a e minus a g e is less than g so here in this case it is positive the same because we are taking this both together b e minus b g is positive if e is greater than g this is negative and this is negative the says the same situation in this case which means they are both positive or both negative and in this way we can state that they are the, the sum is greater than or equal to zero this formula gives us a e b e minus a e b g minus a g b e plus a plus a g b g this is greater than or equal to zero for all e and g varying from one to n so they uh, they take all the values from one to n. Since this is positive, this implies that if we take the sum just on e equal equal one to n, a e 
BE minus BG since B depends on G. BG is a constant with respect to the sum with respect to E. This means that we have all the right to write this. This is a constant. Here we have AG is the constant with respect to the sum because we are summing with respect to, to E. And here there is no E. So this will be uh, added N times this means that plus n a g a g b g which is greater than or equal to zero once again we can sum with respect to uh, to g then there is no g here if we take the sum n times with respect to g we get n the sum from E equal 1 to N A E B E minus here, this is constant, so we get the sum from E equal 1 to N A E and the sum of B G from G equal 1 to N. Here we get the sum from E equal 1 to N B E since it is uh, it is a constant with respect to the index G, the sum from from G equal 1 to N A G plus, and here we take the sum N, the sum from G equal 1 to N A G B G, which is greater than or equal to 0. From what? From the last formula, the last equation, we can remark, we can remark that this equation can takes can take another form. So the first one, which implies which implies that we have n times n, the sum from e equal 1 to n a, a e, a e, b e, a e, b e, plus, plus n, the sum from g equal 1 to n a g b g, which is greater than or equal, we take this to the second part, the sum of E equal 1 to N A E, the sum from G equal 1 to N B G, plus the sum from E equal 1 to N B G, the sum from G equal 1 to N A H. Uh, sorry, here we have, we have, uh, we have this one, yeah, from E equal 1 to N B E, and from G equal 1, yeah, this is, we have this. Here, what we can remark, E and G are just an index, which are silent index, we can easily, we can easily remark that the sum from E equal 1 to N A E B E and the sum from, A, from G equal 1 to N A G B E B G, they are the same. Since if, if we put G equal E, we get the same thing. Which means that this implies that 2N, the sum uh, we can we can take E, we can take G, we can take K, uh, any, 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 uh, any parameter to show that we are summing on this index. So, E equal 1 to N, A, E, B, E, same. Take here G equal E and you will get the same thing, which is greater than or equal here. 
if we change if we change g par e by e and g by e we get the same thing this means that two the sum from e equal one to n a e and the sum from e equal one to n b e here we simplify two with two and this exactly the 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 formula that we need to prove why this is a compact form of the sum and this is a compact form of the sum and this is a compact form of the product of uh, diagonal elements this ends this short video thank you very much for watching see you next time take care of yourself